All right, um, right now I'm going to show you how to um, use um, BitTorrent, and I'm also, in the, in the same video, I'm going to show you how to um, burn a DVD so you can play the DVD in your DVD player, or Xbox, or um, your computer to watch a movie. Um, both these processes kind of go hand in hand, so that's why I decided to do it in one video. All right, first thing, BitTorrent. Now, what BitTorrent is, is it's basically just a peer-to-peer, -peer, um, kind of like LimeWire, but it um, works a lot better, I think. Um, so, first what you want to do is you want to use a BitTorrent browsing website. Now, um, I use the PirateBay.org because I find that to be the best. Now, you're going to search um, for whatever you want to download. And again, this is illegal, so um, if you don't want to break the law, don't do this, but I mean whatever alright so say you want a movie so you go I just clicked on top 100 and then I'm gonna see what movies are being most downloaded right now so right now gamer and funny people and inglorious bastards whatever whatever movie you want you'll just search right there so how this works um right here you see SE and LE what this means is um, SE means cedars and LE means leechers um, the seeders are the people uploading the video to um, this website, and then the leechers are the people downloading it. Um, so you want more, you usually want more seeders and leechers because you want more people uploading it than downloading it, so it's quicker. Um, so it looks like funny people, and then funny people doesn't have a really good ratio, so I mean, you can still download it, it'll just take a little bit longer. But I already have these three movies, so. I'm going to download a movie I don't have so you can see how to do it. Um, looks like 2012. Um, also, when you're reading this, you see DVD Rip um, English. You usually want DVD Rip English. As you can see here, it says 2012 English Cam, which means camera, um, because it is still in theaters and it's not on DVD yet. But um, say you want Twilight New Moon. <laughs> so you just click on Twilight New Moon. And the camera versions aren't going to be good, obviously, because it's just going to be a guy with a camera, a video camera in the movie theater recording it off his video camera. So the DVD rip is going to be DVD quality. Um, so once you find what you want, you're going to click download this torrent. And as you can see, your downloads will open up, and then you'll see it. it this downloads pretty quick. Um, so you're going to want to download a torrent application. I use uTorrent. I find that to be the easiest and the best. Um, I'll put a link in the description for where to download it, but I use uTorrent. So once you install uTorrent, all your .torrent files are going to be opened with uTorrent. So you're just going to double click on whatever you just downloaded, and it's going to open uTorrent. Now under your downloading, that's where you have it. Now movies can take anywhere from 30 minutes to weeks. I mean, just depends on how many. Your cedar to leecher ratio, which is super important for the quickness of your download. Um, and as you can see, um, I'm not gonna. I'm obviously not gonna wait for this download while I'm recording this because this will probably take around two hours. But um, you're just gonna wait, wait for that to download, and yeah. So that's how that works. Minimize that. Okie doke. So, um, I'm just going to show you how to burn a different movie. So, um, I use an application called Burn to burn um, a movie onto a DVD so you can watch it. Um, as you can see, this is what it looks like. Again, I'll put the link in the description where to download it. But, um, yeah, so you're going to find wherever your movie saved to. So, my movies are here. Here's all my movies. So, Say you want to burn Inglorious Bastards. So you have Inglorious Bastards right here. Um, you're going to go in your burn application. You're going to go to the video tab and then the down arrow to DVD. Like that. Just like that. Um, and then you're going to click on your Inglorious Bastards and drag it over. And um, this burn process can take quite a while. Um, it says one incompatible file. And if it says that, you just click yes. And then I usually just save it to my desktop, desktop and then delete it because 
you know, it's just it's just burning um, the um, recognizable format for your DVD to play in a DVD player. So you're just gonna wait for this to encode. It usually takes about 30 minutes. So um, I'm gonna come back when that's done and show you where to go from there. All right, as you can see, it's um, done encoding. I like to rename it whatever your name of your movie is. So Inglorious Bastards. Um, another thing, um, the type of DVD you want to use is a DVD minus R, um, not DVD plus R because that won't work. DVD minus R. Um, I know the brand Memrex works. That's what I use. Memrex DVD minus R. They're pretty cheap. So um, I'll show you a picture if I can find one. I'm sure I can. DVD minus R. And I mean any of these would work. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure verbatim would work. DVD minus R. That's what it looks like. Um, so once you have your DVD minus R disc, um, you just click burn. And I like to just save it to my desktop. I usually just delete it after I'm done burning. But it says waiting for disc to be inserted. So you just go ahead and insert your disc. Um, and again, to know if your computer, um, if your Mac can burn DVD minus R. You just go to Apple about this Mac and then more info and then um, under hardware you're gonna go disk burning and let's see here and then under DVD write here's all the type of DVDs it'll burn um, see minus R it's the first one right there and then those are all the other types so um, it says burn disk in um, I mean, I usually just keep all those the same. And you just click burn, and it's just that simple. Um, first, it's gonna process and everything, and then it's gonna write to the DVD. Um, I don't really know how long it takes. Probably an hour. I mean, it can be a slow process, but yep, that's how you do it. Um, if you have any questions, comment on this video or shoot me a message. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.